Hi everyone. So today you're going to be making clay bowls. And so if you look here, you can see that they have been made by coils, which are these long worm-like um, snake looking things that you roll out like this. And then we build them on top of each other and we make a bowl. So here are some examples. So this one, you can see all the coils on the outside and then on the inside, they smooth them together and that's how you get them all to attach and not fall apart. So everybody will have it nice on the outside, whatever design they choose, smooth it together on the inside. So um, this one decided just to do like really two coils and then the rest of them were all made into swirls. And then a lot of time people want to put a decoration on the inside because everything gets smoothed out so that this sometimes um, is not enough decoration for some people so they do some decoration on the inside but it's supposed to be smooth on the inside still seeing the coil pattern on the outside so this one right here was smoothed but the bag um, made these little marks um, at the end you're supposed to smooth it out with a sponge um, but sometimes if you push too hard against the coil, against the bowl, you lose the decoration. So don't push too hard. Um, another option is for you to um, do some coils and then just cut out big cookie cutters of another design and score and slip them on. Okay, so these are all different ideas for you. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna go grab your size bowl that you want, okay? Then you have to make a bottom for it. So what happens is that people come and they make the tiniest little bottom and it doesn't fit. So right now we're going to just cut out a nice big bottom. Okay. And we're gonna set that right here for a second. And then we're gonna cut out a smaller bottom. So you will be cutting it out the same way as I am. I'm putting it over here so that I have more room. So now I have two different types of bottoms. A lot of times people are like, oh, I have a bowl. I'm going to stick it in there. I have a bottom. But there's all of this empty space that I can put my fingers. We don't want that because it's going to be really hard for us to coil our coil around it like that. But if we take a bigger bottom and we make sure that the bottom... Now, do you see the top edge right here? That's gonna be really easy for me to score and slip my very first coil. So I'd have to score and slip this one too, right? I'd have to do the whole thing, put some slip on there, put some slip on there. And look how nicely that fits on top, right? You want it to be pushed against your bowl. If you have a bottom that's too little, like this, some people start to make their coils and they start to go up like this. And then you have all this room right here and it's you're not using the bowl what it's intended for, right? So you need to be pushing it against the bowl. So make sure you have a bottom that fits it appropriately. So this is a little bit of a smaller bowl. So I can use a smaller one. Let's see if this works. Okay, even this one right here, see how I can stick my fingers in there and it's not kind of coming up at you a little bit. So I would say that one is, again, a little bit too small. So let's try another one here. It's off camera a little bit. So we're going to take this one. Ooh, that's much better. See how that's getting the sides up a little bit more? So now my coil has something to go on. Again, push it against the wall. So after you have your bowl picked out and you have your bottom done, you're going to take a bag and you're gonna stick your bowl inside of the bag. And I'm gonna move this over a little bit. I'm just gonna pull it down, okay, wrap it around. Get that all in there, all nice, because we don't want our coils to stick to the bowl. Now we're going to take our bottom that we made and put it in there. Try to get all the air right. Then you're going to take your needle tool. And you're going to do what I just said. You're going to score and slip all the way around. And then you're going to score and slip all the way around this one. So this is scoring, but you have to take some of that slimy water slip and put it on there. 
then you're gonna start to put it on. Now there's two things you can do. See how I'm pushing against the side? You can come to here and you can cut it off and you can cut this one off, okay? And you can score and put some slip on there, score and put some slip on there and connect them together and then nicely blend them like this, okay? And then you can keep going over and over and over again. Or you can take another coil, score and slip, score and slip, put it all in here. And instead of ending it right here, you just overlap and you keep going. This is the easiest way, except there's might be a little bit of a slant in it, right? Then I just take another one score and slip, score and slip. So let's pretend I did that, blend it together so it's all nice and, and pretty. Oop. <laughs> Do a better job than what I'm doing. Okay, push this against the side, score and slip this. And then keep going and going and going. It actually goes really, really fast. Okay, so the, those are your two options. Now, when you're done, I like to take the back of my fingernail and I just blend it together, okay? I need all of these put together nicely. And then I just flip my finger around and go like this and blend it this way and make it all nice and pretty. This is the time where people start to ruin their designs. So this person, you can still see your design, so they didn't push too hard. This person, I lost my ball. This person right here, they pushed too hard and they started to lose their coils on the outside. So you will finish this technique of doing this and then smoothing it out, right? All the way around. Now, let's say you want to do other things like make these coils right here, all right? So you would just take your coil and you're just going to go like this, right? But here's what I would do. I would take it and I would line up. This coil is looking pretty bad because I've been touching it over and over again. I'd make all my coils the same size first. Then I would roll them up so that when they roll up, they're all pretty much similar to each other, right? So now I can take these coils and I can literally use them as my walls or I can use them as the top finishing part of my bowl, right? So um, those are very popular. You can also roll little pebbles and make that a finishing part of your bowl. You can also do things like this. You can get a cookie cutter and you can just do like half, oh, let's push the wrong way. So I do this, half of this, okay? Now I can take this and make a whole bunch of these and this is going to make a nice little ledge as well all the way around so you decide what kind of decorations you want to do and how you want to finish your bowl now at the end then when you're all done you still have this bag on here so you're simply going to take that bag wrap it up like this get yourself a little piece of tape put your name on it Put the tape off to the side because you don't want to tape the bag shut. If this doesn't stay closed, get yourself a little piece of clay that has some weight on it and just put it on top so that it helps keep the bag closed. And then you put it away on the shelf. All right, good luck.